Hi. I often get asked the question, which is the right branch of engineering to choose? And I understand this is a very, very important decision. So I wanted to spend next few minutes just explaining how should you go about making that choice. Factor number one, that is your interest and passion. Um, hence, I would request you to explore what field interests you the most. The reality, however, is that most people are not very sure at this point of time. However, if you're very, very clear, then that becomes one order of priority. The second factor is where there is a lot of demand for graduating engineers. For that, if you look at what has happened in the last 20 years, if you think about how do you commute, you commute using Uber and Ola. How do you order food? Today you order food using Swiggy and Zomato. You can't even imagine traveling without using Google Maps and Google. In fact, in every sector around you, you would find that there are these new products now, which are nothing but software engineering products built by engineers who were computer science graduates, mostly. If you go by that trend, you would notice that more and more fields now are being digitized. More and more fields, more and more domains are being taken over by software engineering. There is in fact a terminology which says software is eating the world. And it is, it is eating the world and continues to eat the world. Um, and if you go by that, then to be honest, the field which has the biggest supply and demand gap, which is there is a lot of demand, but there is very minimal supply of engineers. That happens to be computer science engineering, which is CSE. And hence, you can't go wrong with CSE. That also, by the way, reflects in the salaries that get paid out. And, and for that, I mean, I just want to take one college, for example, right? So for example, if you look at the top five IITs, there the average salary for a computer science graduate is definitely north of 20 lakhs. However, the average salary for all of the other branches is less than 9 lakhs where there is not even 100% placement for non-CS graduates. Now, if you see, there's a very huge disparity between computer science branch and non-computer science branch. So again, also validates the, the fact that computer science has higher demand and lower supply. So you can't go wrong with CS. And factor three is future potential. Now, there is a very common feeling, especially in parents, that the field of computer science will saturate. I graduated about 13 years back. And when I was making a choice 17 years back, my parents had a very similar concern. They said, computer science is going to saturate. But the reality is the far opposite. Coursera estimates that there will be nine crore new jobs in the field of software engineering. So, number of software engineering jobs are not going to go down. In fact, they're going to further increase and increase and increase. They're going to take over most domains that you see today. There is advent of AI, machine learning, and more and more things are getting automated, which means the nature of jobs is changing. They're not being replaced, but the nature of jobs is changing. For that matter, if you, for example, take a mechanical engineer or a civil engineer, all of the models that they build now is on top of software. And for that, you have to write some code. So even the mechanical engineering jobs and the civil engineering jobs have a flavor now of software engineering in it. The truth is, if you're a very good CS graduate, if you're a very solid software engineer, then there is a world of opportunities that open up for you because you can choose to then go into any domain and do well there. So the third factor, long-term potential, um, again, computer science and engineering, at least for the coming few decades, seems to be the right choice. In general, what I believe is if you start well, that is half the battle won. Imagine you are a batsman, you're going to play cricket. Just the, by choosing the right bat, the bat that is powerful, means you have won half the battle. If you choose a very weak bat, then even if you are a Sachin Tendulkar or a Vivian Richards, you'll struggle to hit the sixes 
easily. This is exactly like that. If you've chosen the right branch, then you've already won half the battle because now you're playing in a less competitive field which has far more opportunities. If you choose the wrong branch, then you'll be playing a much harder game because there are lesser opportunities and there are far more number of people competing for it. That being said, that is my opinion. I would encourage you to go and research about everything that I said. Go and look up the placement numbers in each college and some of what I've said will become very, very obvious. Thanks again and all the best for the journey ahead.